Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. And we have Katie Bigger, one of the two, or Big R? How do you pronounce her last name? Katie from Canada has one of the two finalists on this season of The Bachelor, starring Zach Shall Cross. Her and Gabby are all that's left. And, of course, uh, audiences are trying to pit them against each other. Who's Team Gabby? Who's Team Katie? And she continues to post, I have nothing but support for her friend. So I'm going to share the statement that she made, the video that she shared, and the other two pieces of um, solidarity coming out, both from the Bachelor official Instagram page, and also the three finalists have all released the same photo. Clearly, there's unity in a time when we have France uniting and having strikes to uh, overcome uh, the government's uh, you know, uh, laws that are being changed here in the U S we have bachelor nation sticking together in solidarity where it matters most on a dating reality show. Boy, if we could only have this solidarity in real life. Okay. So anyway, I digress. We've got Katie here. Hey, she hit 101,000 followers and she posted this video, which she shared from bachelor rabbit holes, uh, Instagram account. So just gotta be careful with the audio here. But it's just like this cute little montage of Gabby and Katie having a bubble bath. I don't know where was this on this TV show or is this like deleted footage that I missed? Maybe this was from the um, bloopers or something. And Katie says, beyond grateful for this incredible woman, Gabby, and our friendship. Thank you for always lighting up a room with your beautiful, quirky personality. You exude the best energy that is so contagious to be around. Thank you for always being you. Truly one of the most beautiful humans inside and out. Keep sprinkling sunshine. Hashtag Team Gady, which is Gabby and Katie. Now, hold on a second. I'm going to share the rest of this content right here but also stick around for the second half of this video where i'm going to share another beef that's brewing between ria at barstool sports and reality steve somehow i'm intertwined into it so we'll get into that in a second but so here this is a beautiful moment she shared and then gabby whose uh, instagram is sprinkling sunshine says love you so much my katie girl forever grateful for our friendship and that you are in my life a true forever friend and then uh, gabby also said to ariel this is my formal invitation to bath time. Will you accept this tub? And I say, yeah, let's get them all in a tub. Let's be, be you know, be best friends. I, I like it when everyone sticks together. And of course, it's an interesting scenario because you've got women that are all vying for one guy's love and attention. And yet at the same time, they spend more time with each other than they do with him. So a lot of times the friendships that come out of Bachelor Nation are, are more, um, I don't know, serious than any of the lasting relationships. So here's a photo they all posted. Katie, Gabby, and Ariel all posted the same exact photo, and they've all kind of um, they've all kind of got the same mentality, which is we are not pitting ourselves against each other. We are here to support each other. Marilyn Movies, our good friend Marilyn, had showed on an Instagram story their post, Gabby's post. Ariel's and Katie's and says, what does this solidarity play mean? And they all did this little thing, this heart. And of course, the funny thing that I noticed was that Katie had different shade hands, which I don't know what the policy is with what color hands you can do. There is more going on than just girl gang forever vibes. Anger at the edit. Okay, here's we got some X-Files. Anger at Zach. At mean fans. Kind of weird if either woman is Zach's fiance. So yeah, um, of course, we do not know how this show ends, uh, at least publicly. You can check the spoilers if you want, but we don't know how it's going to play out after the rose ceremony anyway. So could it very well be that none of them are with Zach or that one of them is or that with all of them is? That, that anything is possible. And that's what we love about the show is that even if you do know the spoilers, we didn't know. We know that Gabby and Eric were spoiled that they were together, and then they didn't even last a few weeks, right? Because uh, clearly, a lot happens once you get into the real world. So, our, um, you know, how this all plays out is going to be interesting. Um, anything else there? She said, um, uh, Marilyn Movie said, remember we were in a similar situation a year ago and Gabby and Rachel were doing the girl gang thing, but not with Susie because she was with Clayton. I am perplexed. Yes, yeah, so now you have the girl gang thing happening right here. Sorry, right here. And there is solidarity. And speaking of solidarity, this was just posted by Bachelor ABC, the Instagram account, Radiating Beauty. And it's a photo right there of Gabby. I mean, if you remember just a couple seasons ago, they would never post the Instagram handle of the, of the ladies, right? So this is like a big deal that they're showing this kind of support. And then they also posted yesterday 
a photo of, I'm assuming, yeah, that's Katie, right? I couldn't see with the, uh, the backlit, but Katie there sipping on a nice drink. So I went on Reality Steve's podcast yesterday. We had a good chat. Go check it out. Episode 331, interview with Dave Neal. And um, Reality Steve discussed the potential spoiler that Barstool Rhea has. Now, uh I, I don't believe Reality Steve feels like anyone's trying to come after his job. We just talked about the dopamine that you can feel when you have like information and you're like, how do I share it? No one else has this information, whatever. And that's what Rhea has. Rhea, of course, from Chicks in the Office podcast says, I find it hilarious that people are freaking out. Admittedly, I do, but I'm not withholding this info for this reason. Where's her initial tweet? Initially, she said, I've been sitting on a hot piece of information regarding the Bachelor finale. I have no idea what to do with it, where to go, who to tell. A monster has been created within. A daily struggle I'm having on whether or not to share it. And, of course, everyone says, share the tea. I was like, I'll take it off your hands. And then she even got a response from the creator of... Um, I don't think I have it right here. She got a response from the creator of The Bachelor saying, let's get you on the After the Final Rose. Um, she said, I'm trying to figure out a way to share this info without, one, spoiling the season for people who don't want to be spoiled, Chicks in the Office listeners and my co-hosts, and two, we may be working on something, and if that's the case, then I cannot share, and we'll all just have to wait until the finale. So by all means, I'm not going to share the spoiler. I don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, you have this random person said, Rhea, because of course, reality, Steve, just like everyone, the, the more popular you get the more haters you get so clearly he's got some people that hate listen to him because someone said Rhea you have to go listen to reality Steve's daily podcast today the way he's so smarmy losery and clearly bothered that there's possible info out there that he doesn't have is beyond funny and I need your reaction on the Friday pod he's so gosh dang smarmy I always I can't it's like listen Kane super fan you're you're digesting his content, so clearly you enjoy it. Um, Rhea's response is, I put the Bachelor world into a tizzy. I have no idea if the info I was given is true, but I've gone back and forth with this person who told me being like, I think you're trolling me, and she's like, I'm 100% not trolling you. Well, again, if, if you think someone's trolling you, and the response is, I'm not trolling you, that doesn't provide any evidence that you're not being trolled. She said, I promise reality, Steve. I have no desire to be the next spoiler account. I thought it was funny at first saying I want credit. I think I've made it abundantly clear I don't take The Bachelor too seriously. Keep squirming, Stevie. And now look, do I, I don't even think Barstool Rhea listened to what reality Steve said. Does he come off smarmy? I mean, I don't even know what smarmy means. He He's clearly annoyed by the accounts that post random things that aren't proven to be factual. And that's that. So he's questioning whether or not Rhea's information can be backed up in any sort of credible way possible. But if you want to go listen to my podcast with Steve, you can, and you can hear exactly how he sounded for himself. And maybe you think he's coming off smarmy regarding this, but I just think that's how Steve talks. And I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. He's got a super successful podcast because he offers a very specific point of view about the show. And he's got a very specific framework in which he uh, takes spoilers and vets them. You know, as we talked about in this podcast, you can have a listen um, on his podcast today. Uh, we talked about the fact that because he's been held to a higher standard, and he has, he's held to a higher standard than Bachelor whatever, Bachelor Nation Scoop, myself, and others, Rhea. He's gotten most of it right. He's got a very high batting average for spoilers. But he's gotten a few things wrong, as he's admitted, and he's had to sort of pay the price with that, you know, as far as pledging to do better and be in again. And I think as we talked about in this podcast, it's interesting because there is no rule book other than for journalists. There's all right, two sources, cite them, don't reveal your sources. Like there's very little um rule book for the accountability when it comes to sharing information. And that's why he questions what Rhea's got when in fact she says. The person says it's 100% true. Rhea 90% believes it. Well, what is it? What kind of information do you have? When Reality Steve shared Nate's story with his ex, Kelsey, he provided dozens of photographic evidence and uh, time stamps and this and that because, you know, now we live in a world where without that smoking gun, he doesn't want to contribute to a lot of the hearsay. And as I mentioned in this podcast, I've made that mistake myself, and I'll probably make that mistake in the future, 
Uh, but that's where it's at. So that doesn't mean, you know, Rhea is not allowed to hype it up. Hype it up, Rhea. Do what you got to do. Don't take it too seriously. Hype it all up. And uh, I, I would suggest if you're worried about sharing this, this spoiler, give it to like Bachelor Nation that scoop or give it to Reality Steve. Give it to someone else. And if it's not true... It's not true, but if it is, hey, then now you're in the spoiler game. All right, folks. Well, that's going to be it. I'm in a bad mood. I got to go to the dentist. And let me tell you something. There's nothing good that comes from going to... It's like when you get mail. Never do I get mail. That's good news. In the dentist, I got to go get a filling filled or whatever. I don't know how it works. Uh, but either way, I'm going to have my podcast up for you before I get there. So that'll be up by noon West Coast time, 3 p.m. East Coast. The afternoon Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, original content. I've got stories that don't make it onto the YouTube that I will have for you exclusively right there at Bachelor Rush Hour. So have a listen to that, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.